Have you ever tried a dish on vacation and it was so good that you wanted to eat it back home? Well, that's how the idea for this next place got started. I happened with me and seafood soup from Mexico. Oh, so good. Well, this place opened up about a year ago, has a massive patio, European flair and drinks from two James distillery. Mm. Michelle Oliver takes us to Corktown to dine in the D at Super Gem. With an eclectic menu ranging from a Mediterranean inspired fish dish to these Georgian dumplings, plus a sophisticated cocktail program to match, Super Guile has all the ingredients for a fun night out. So Super Guile is a term in Germany that they use, something that means super cool, super trendy. The idea for this chic restaurant came from the owner of Two James Distillery and chef Brendan McCall while they were on a trip to Berlin. We're staying in the Kreuzberg area, and this is where the big Turkish population is. And we were finding a lot of similarities to it just to what Cork Town felt like. And everyone's like, well, you gotta go out and have dinner kebab. And we're like, okay, well, we'll go have dinner. And we just were like hooked and addicted and just going all the time. So they kind of thought, why don't we have something like this in, in Detroit? They already owned this building, so they set about transforming it into Super Guile. So we wanted it to be very open air, a lot of natural colors, not a you know dimly lit cocktail bar. We wanted to be more brightly lit. Lots of browns, lots of colors from all the different aspects of Berlin. And this donor sandwich gave them the starting point for their menu. If that's sort of our main item, then let's build flavors around and flavors that sort of expand from that community. Well, this is a beautiful spread, so let's get into the menu, and we're going to start with one of their appetizers. This is the lutanitsa, and this is a Bulgarian and kind of a Turkish-style dish. The sauce is made with sweet and spicy red peppers along with some tomatoes and onions, giving it kind of a salsa-y vibe, and it comes with some house-made pita bread on the side. Another great starter are these Georgian soup dumplings with a spiced beef on the inside, and they have this veal stock demi-glaze on the inside, making it nice and rich and juicy. It's served over sour cream with a little bit of dill and pickles over top. Another popular appetizer is their Verschicken chicken. Now, Verschicken is actually Yiddish for drunken, and that's the perfect name for this because the chickens are marinated in white wine and two James whiskey. They're topped with puri puri sauce, pickled onions, and green beans. If you're looking for something light and refreshing, check out this beet and carrot salad. Now this is very popular over in Bulgaria. It has shredded beets and carrots and honey crisp apples in it. Another great salad is this iceberg salad. It's kind of their own take on the wedge. So you have iceberg lettuce, a creamy Bulgarian feta dressing. You also have radishes, red onions, tomatoes, and it's topped with candied walnuts. Now for the dish that started it all, their donor. So this is a Turkish style sandwich. The meat in there is beef and lamb and it's marinated in an herbed yogurt. There's tons of veggies, a garlic mayo and their house made hot sauce. Now they have a selection of dishes that are meant to be shared and this is their branzini, a very rich buttery fish. They're pairing this one with an herbaceous sour orange walnut stuffing to really brighten it up and all of their shared plates come with a variety of sides and salads from the menu, kind of to just give you a taste of everything. And finally, for dessert, they have a classic, the Bumpy Cake. Bumpy Cake was good. I right. love Bumpy Cake. Let's do some house cleaning. I introduced the place as Super Gym. I don't know where, where I got that from. Super Guile. Is yes, there a story behind guile. the name? Yes. Yeah, so super it cool. means yeah, super cool, super chic, super trendy, kind of like hot sex. Like you. Yeah. Thank Super you, guy. Kim. You're so sweet. <laughs> you can come on this show anytime. <laughs> All right. What is this right here? I'm about to. Okay. Here. So that is the steak and frites. So obviously, potatoes are uh, not potatoes. Uh, the frites are the French fries, and then of course some delicious steak. We also have one of their tins. Now I'm going to read this off here. So if you like fancy imported tins of like sardines or something like this, this is place has a lot of different versions. This one is mussels in 
Escabeche sauce. Oh, look at, say that again. I think that's how you say it. Escabeche. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping oh, yeah. I'm not butchering that. Big <laughs> chuckle out of Miranda over there. <laughs> nice. And then uh, we also brought in their donor. Now, they actually make sure to have quite a few vegan options on their menu just because I actually the chef used to be vegan for a little while. So this is a vegan version of their donor sandwich with uh, eggplant on it instead of the lamb and beef. Now I will say the lamb and beef was I, it delicious. Was so good. Uh, this, I, this is one of my favorite restaurants and I love every time I'm on the show I feel like you feature a Corktown restaurant. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'm like Kim's here. Let me show her now in her neighborhood. Exactly. Um, okay, so let's talk about the patio because I know they opened last year and they were yes. kind of getting the patio ready. Is it ready now? So yes, it is ready. They're going to have it open and they have a lot of big plans for this. So there's this shipping container bar that they're going to have mm. where they're going to have fresh raw oysters from there. Mm -hmm. They're also yes. doing a big sherry program. Um, out there, they're going to have movies, um, have events like barbecues, and even a projector to play movies on over the summer. Oh, how fun! So it's going to be like a happening place. And I got to say, That's is steak. it good? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's good when Jason mm. is approving. Yeah. I love like uh, that tremor in your voice. And I <laughs> will say, I know like the cocktails, they're, they're hands down. Like, I mean, it's, yes. two, it's two James cocktails, right? Yes, two James cocktails. So they are owned by the same people as two James. And that building actually used to be used for storage for two James stuff for their distilling. So the way they sell stuff is based off of the fact that they are a distillery. So all of their products are two James or they make them in house or they import them. It's one of those three things. Amazing. So it's all like house made. Oh, well, I just awesome. Try some of this steak. Um, so I remind everyone where they're located again. So it's located in Corktown at 2442 <clears throat> Michigan Avenue, right across the street from Two James Distillery, just a little bit past the train station. Okay. All right, let's see what Kim says. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Here. So elegant. Did you, go, did you this go to is finishing her finishing school? school. <laughs> Definitely not. Mm, that is so good. Yeah, it, it's, it's delicious. Mm. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. If you want more information, restaurant recommendations, that sort of thing, sign up for the Dine in the D newsletter. It is sent straight to your inbox every Thursday, every other Thursday. Just sign up, look for the newsletter tab at the top of clickondetroit.com. And while you're online, you can join our Dine in the D group on Facebook. That way you'll always be in the know for where the best food is in Detroit. You should also follow Michelle Oliver on social media. Yes, please send me, send me recommendations. I do go to them.